So it's been a while since Samsung launched their most premium wearable, Galaxy Watch 3. And we're yet to see the next generation version of this watch. Galaxy Watch 3 is considered the best Android watch available in the market with the Tizen OS inside. It features all the necessary health sensors for 24-7 monitoring of your fitness. Even with all that features, will it be worth buying right now? Or should you wait for the upcoming Galaxy Watch 4, which might be featuring Google Wear OS? In this video, we will be talking about the overall features that make the Galaxy Watch 3 one of the best Android watches, and also why you shouldn't buy it right now. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. Both the Galaxy Watch and Galaxy Watch 3 features the same design, including the rotating bezel and two buttons. Though the design of the button has been an upgrade to the Watch 3. But if you want a thinner watch, probably the next refresh of the watch might do the trick for you. According to Max Weinbach, the Galaxy Watch 4 will be available in 41mm and 45mm versions, having a thinner body than its predecessors so it would be wise to wait a bit more if you want a slimmer watch. The major upgrade to the Watch 3 compared to the Galaxy Watch was the health sensors. Samsung introduced new health tracking sensors such as blood pressure and oxygen monitoring, ECG, fall detection, and many more. These were previously missing with the Galaxy Watch. But with the upcoming Galaxy Watch, we will be seeing some more upgrades. Samsung might offer a whole new health sensor for measuring the blood sugar monitoring level. And for this, they have collaborated with MIT. This new sensor will use the Raman spectroscopy method, by which the watch will be able to determine blood sugar level. So if you have a diabetics problem, waiting for the next upcoming watch seems more acceptable. With all these health sensors, the Galaxy Watch 4 will also feature a BIA sensor, which was earlier tweeted by Max Weinbach. BIA means Bioelectrical Impedance Analysis, through which you will be able to measure the fat percentage of your body. This new sensor will release a low voltage current through your body and will determine whether you're lean or chubby from the amount of resistance created by the fat and muscles. Moreover, the Galaxy Watch 4 is going to feature the most convenient Google Wear OS, which was already announced by Google in their I.O. event. So this will surely make the Watch 4 more handy in terms of compatibility and optimization with other smartphone brands. The most disappointing fact about the Watch 3 was a reduction of battery capacity compared to the Galaxy Watch. The Galaxy Watch used to have a 472 mAh battery, whereas the Galaxy Watch 3 came with only 340 mAh battery capacity. Many of us aren't too fond of smartwatches due to their less battery life as they need to be charged too often. On top of that, instead of a bigger battery, Samsung just made it worse by providing a smaller battery with their watch. And the always-on display feature doesn't even offer the LTPO display technology, which consumes a lot of juice. So either you need to go for the Galaxy Watch or wait for the upcoming Galaxy Watch 4 if you want a smartwatch with more battery life. Galaxy Watch 3 is still one of the best Android smartwatches and comes with lots of features and health sensors. Getting this watch would surely be worth it even if it has a high price tag. But we have seen Samsung launching their previous watches in the month of August. So the new watch is also likely to be launched soon. If you're the kind of person who tends to have a refresh of products as soon as the products are launched, getting the Watch 3 right now would surely be a loss. So that was all about the Galaxy Watch 3 and some reliable news about the upcoming Watch 4. Considering the facts, which Galaxy Watch would you like to go for? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and share with your friends if you find this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.